Okay, so here's an application that I wanted to show you guys. It's called Video Converter Format Editor. I know it's kind of a weird name, but I wanted to show you this to you guys because with these videos that I'm doing where I'm reviewing some older videos or some older video cameras and cameras in general, uh, they have really weird format. Uh, they have really weird file formats like AVI and MTS and natively the iPad does not support AVI so I needed something that would convert it without having to use a computer uh, and I apologize if there's any kind of weird sounds I'm recording this in my shed right now and I've got the windows open so hopefully it doesn't bother you too much but so uh, I think it was like two dollars or four dollars or something like that but I'll show it to you guys here um, what you have to do natively this application if you just click on a video and you go to convert and select default what basically what it does is it just renames the file extension to mp4 or whatever it is that you set as your default it doesn't actually re-encode the video and I wish they would add that to your default setting where you could force enable it to re-encode and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about if you click on advanced you can select your output format as MOV MP4 MKV there's a bunch of different ones on here but I'm gonna select MP4 down here at the bottom where it says force re-encode video I'm gonna click yes and then right here where it says video encoder I'm gonna select libx264 which is basically the same thing as H264. And what that's going to do is that's going to force re-encode the video so that you can actually use it on the iPad. Now I am doing a screen record and using an external microphone so it might go a little bit slower but it's going to re-encode the video and that's actually going to give you the ability to use it on the iPad and, and applications like LumaFusion now the weird thing is that LumaFusion actually does view the AVI format but it decides to maybe not <laughs> it's really weird because when I add it to the timeline it'll play it for about three seconds and then quit and then I'll have to force close it out and even if I go to the default format where I don't re-encode it it does the exact same thing so all I can figure is that on the default what it does is it just changes the, the end file extension from MOV to MP4 without actually re-encoding it. So once that's actually saved, if you click on the middle button at the bottom where it shows the play, you can actually select it and you can't actually save it because it won't save it to your, uh, your photo or your photo roll or whatever it's called, your photos app. You have to click on more, go to save to files, and I've got local storage, which is just an app that creates a folder in the root directory. Now keep in mind, this is before the iPad OS where this is all a, a better scenario, but I'll add it to local storage. And since I've already added it because I was playing around with it, um, I'll just hit replace. That's gonna add it to your files app where you can then go to, uh, so right here, I'm at local storage on my iPad local storage and it added it right there today at 519 p.m. so then you can actually take it from here and select it go to share and send it save video to your photo roll so yeah I wanted to show that to you guys because I know uh, with some of these older cameras that I'm gonna be messing around with it'll actually be a problem without where it actually solves that problem without having to use a computer to convert those videos so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, just wanted to show it to you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.